These are exciting times for believers like us who are interested in Bible prophecy. Many of the things that are suggested by unfulfilled future prophecies seem to be trending in our world like never before. We reserve a few minutes Sunday morning to discuss some of those things. We're always careful to use recognized, reliable sources for news and information. And we're not saying that the things we report are fulfilling prophecy, only that they're things you'd expect from reading the Bible literally. The dreaded mark of the beast is described in the 13th chapter of the Revelation. All, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, receive a mark on their right hand or foreheads. No one can buy or sell except one who has the mark. The possibility of enslaving citizens by some sort of biometric mark is fast becoming a reality. The technology exists right now for us to use our fingerprints or our palm prints or a vein scan or a retinal scan or a wearable device or an implanted chip to identify ourselves and conduct all of our business. Owing to the global pandemic, invasive technology solutions are being implemented at a frightening pace. Here's one that involves our children. The Los Angeles Unified School District, second largest in the nation, is issuing barcodes to students using Microsoft's Daily Pass. It's an app designed to coordinate health checks, COVID tests, and vaccinations for a safe reopening of schools. Here are a few excerpts from an article about it. Daily Pass generates a unique QR code for each student and staff member that authorizes entry to a specific LA Unified location for that day as long as the individual receives a negative test result for COVID, shows no symptoms, and has a temperature under 100 degrees. Upon a student's arrival to a campus, their QR code is scanned by an LA Unified School site leader who takes the individual's temperature. Anonymized data from Daily Pass will be used by the LA Unified Research and Healthcare Collaborators, Stanford University, UCLA, the Johns Hopkins University, Anthem, Blue Cross, HealthNet, and Cedar sinai to provide insight for strategies to create the safest possible school environment. Expect this to come to all California public school districts. Critics of Daily Pass made the following comments in the article. Sounding like a gross HIPAA violation as well as a Chinese Communist Party-like social credit check, Shouldn't it require parental permission before turning over health data to universities and corporate health insurers? The creepy little animated video announcing the program looks and sounds as if George Orwell wrote it. This is some evil authoritarian insanity. They want kids masked, barcoded, and brainwashed. This is the way to keep the children in a constant state of fear and then provide the magic Microsoft bullet allowing them to get back into school. Now, I'm not saying that daily pass is the mark of the beast, but it is a step uh, forward and it's one step removed from using some sort of biometric identifier to accomplish the same procedure more accurately. It would probably be too shocking to start with that, but so right now the kid uh, has to print out from his printer a QR code and carry that and bring it. And it's kind of weird, you have to admit, uh, and after a while, once you get used to see what happens with these things, once you get used to them, then they go to the next step and they say, well, you know, the paper codes are kind of weird. And so what if we just use their forehead or, you know, we're going to take their temperature anyway. So what if we scanned a little wearable device or what if the, we take the children's fingerprints? That would be good, right? Everybody wants to have their kids' fingerprints on file. And, you know, so we're just moving in the direction of that kind of technology. Controlling entrance into buildings, lack of privacy, tracking individual behaviors, ignoring established laws like HIPAA, promoting fear. This is exactly what we've been expecting from a literal futurist reading of the Bible's unfulfilled prophecies regarding the end times. We believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent, could happen at any moment. Nothing needs to happen before it happens. Jesus will return in the clouds. He'll raise the dead in Christ. Then he transforms the bodies of living believers into our glorified resurrection bodies. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready, stay ready, keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming.